All right, and I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, book with a new vliggity vlog. And today I'm gonna be talking about my life, uh, grades for this semester, and YouTube stuff as well. Uh, the most important thing is uh, my grades came in today for uh, fall 2016 semester. And I have to say, um, I'm really proud of the, uh, the turnaround and the uh, rate of improvement that I've had compared to my previous semesters. Um, as you guys know, I was originally in the Management Information Systems major, which is kind of a combination between like computer science and business. So it's kind of a hybrid between the two. Uh, that was my previous major. And when I came back to college, after being out for nearly a decade, you know, going through that major. Uh, I found out it really wasn't for me. Uh, my GPA suffered. I got put on academic probation. I actually got academically dismissed because I did so poorly. And um, I was able to come back for the fall of 2016 semester, which was this previous semester that just finished up last week. And uh, I was put on like, <laughs> almost like double secret probation basically to where uh, I had to take like an academic recovery course and all this other stuff. And uh, I've also decided, you know, to change focuses, change majors. And that was another impetus for me to come back to Western Michigan. So um, after going through all that, going through different class, you know, classes that I'm more interested in, you know, with filmmaking and things like that, um, my GPA really improved. Now, I'm not saying that I'm, you know, that I have like a 4.0 or anything like that, but uh, it is above a 2.0, we'll say that. And because of that, um, I'm going to be uh, continuing to go to Western Michigan for the time being. Um, I haven't put on extended probation because uh, my GPA for this semester wasn't enough to get my overall cumulative GPA beyond a 2.0. So. Um, it's not quite enough to get past that yet, so I've been put on extended probation because I've shown significant improvement, and, you know, I'll be able to continue classes, so that's good. So, really looking forward to the next semester where I can focus more on my major, some gen eds, things like that. So, really excited about that. Uh, really excited that, um, you know, my grades were better this semester, I was really nervous about that because I had went through a really bad depressive episode uh, last month in November, and it really uh, affected my grades and everything, and I was really worried that um, I wouldn't be able to continue going to college. You know, it just, you know, it just wore a hole in my stomach, and there was nights where I couldn't really sleep because I was just thinking about it because, you know, anxiety. <laughs> But uh, I got the results back today, and uh, no, I'm not out of the doghouse yet. I'm not on the dean's list yet, <laughs> but uh, I have shown significant improvement, and I'm definitely on the right track to uh, getting my GPA back up again. And then uh, the plan moving forward with that is uh, once I get my GPA back beyond a 2.0, ideally around 2.5-ish, um, I'll start applying to universities a bit closer to home in Ohio. Uh, one that I'm looking uh, into the most is uh, Wright State in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, it's a place that's very close to uh, my friends and family from back home. So if I wanted to, you know, visit my folks on the weekend or something, I could do that without having to take into account long driving times and stuff like that. And I'm a lot closer to my friends, so. They're only a couple minutes away, and I'm really um, excited to be closer to them as well. Because, you know, here in Kalamazoo, being a 30-something, it's kind of hard to make friends. Not impossible, but it's uh, certainly a lot harder, you know, to relate to uh, the kids on campus. I'm just glad to be a bit closer to my OG friends. <laughs> Hoping to uh, make some more videos and stuff. Uh, with my best friend, Eric, also known as the Talking Vidalkin. I uh, hope to uh, make some more collab videos with that, with uh, with him when I move a bit closer to home. Uh, maybe we can get like First Impact Anime up, we can do other things as well. 
Um, so I'm really looking forward to the possibilities of all that. And plus, uh, Ohio is a lot more, uh, the cost of living in Ohio is uh, a lot better than in Michigan. So that's another, another reason why I'm moving to Ohio is because you know, here in Michigan, yes, I do have the GI Bill, so I'm able to afford this place and pay bills and stuff like that. But I do have to have a, uh, a significant part-time job in order to uh, cover the other expenses like food and you know, maybe like insurance and stuff like that. You know, grown-up stuff. <laughs> so it's not like I'm just sitting on my butt on the couch all day doing homework or whatever. You know, I... I have to work. <laughs> so uh, it just kind of is what it is. And I feel like, you know, living out here in Kalamazoo, I'm just barely breaking even for the most part. Um, I am able now because I've climbed out of debt and stuff like that. I'm now able to breathe a little bit easier. But if some big emergency came up, I'm not exactly in a good position to, uh, to tackle that. So I have to really play it carefully with things and I'm hoping you know once I move back to Ohio uh, the cost of living is going to be a lot lower and I'll be able to get an apartment that's pretty much you know like this one maybe a little better for either the same price or most likely lower so that'll be nice and plus I'm also looking for apartments that are a bit closer to campus as well so that way a the cost is lower and b uh, I don't have to pay as much in gas, so that's another win-win right there. So that's the plan moving forward uh, in the personal life, all that kind of stuff. But for now, I'm just going to kick back, relax, uh, chill out for this break, and get some well-earned relaxation time in. And uh, one of the things I'm going to do, even though it's kind of, it sounds counterproductive to the whole uh, relaxation thing is uh, make more YouTube videos and I already have a couple videos in the can that I have to get to editing but uh, one of the things I wanted to do with my channel is to try to uh, have a very specific brands of content rather than just rando stuff all the time so one of the things that I want to do is to be a little bit more consistent with my Life After Navy series where I talk about, well, my life after the Navy and talk and uh, answer questions that you guys may have about uh, the military, my time in, you know, maybe if you're looking to get out and you're looking to use like the post 9-11 GI Bill, you know, if you guys have questions about that, I'd love to answer those. And I really enjoy doing the Life After Navy series, and I think I'm able to talk a bit more candidly about my experience in the Navy because I felt that, and uh, one of the reasons, and I don't think I'd really talked about this before, but uh, one of the reasons why I stopped doing NFACs, uh, there's several reasons. Um, one of them, I was kind of getting burnt out with the same question over and over again. You know, what's boot camp like? And uh, another reason was I felt like uh, some of the questions that I was getting, I wasn't able to really honestly answer. And that was just because I felt that if I were to honestly answer those questions, it would, you know, show that I have a negative opinion about something in the Navy. And it's kind of, it's kind of that old saying, you know, don't shit where you eat, basically. So I didn't want to get myself in trouble with uh, Big Navy if they found my videos. Because I know a lot of people... You know, from my ship. Uh, some people, when I was back in training, found my videos. And some of them were like, ah, it's kind of funny, you know, oh, it's kind of cool. And then others were like, dude, you gotta take that stuff down. You know, you don't want to get go to mast or anything like that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I was playing very, uh, very carefully with the rules because, you know, when I was in, this was 2010 to 2015, um, the Navy, the military was starting to make uh, regulations for social media use. So this is all very new. And so I was just trying to uh, just play it as carefully as I could. And in doing that, I couldn't answer questions where my answer would reflect negatively upon the Navy. But now that I'm out of the Navy, it's not like I'm going to be bashing the Navy all the time because 
to be perfectly honest, you know, without the Navy, no matter what my opinion is of them as an organization or whatever, without the Navy, I wouldn't have this apartment. I wouldn't be going back to college. You know, I wouldn't have a car sitting out there, at least one that works, to be totally honest. So, yes, there are some aspects of the Navy that I don't like, but the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, without the Navy, I wouldn't have those things. So, it just kind of is what it is. But, now that I'm out, I am an able to answer questions more candidly and talk a little bit more negatively about the Navy if it warrants it. I'm not just going to go on a big Navy bashing, you know, frenzy or anything like that. So that's what I really enjoy about the Life After Navy series is that it's a bit more honest about uh, my opinions of the Navy. In addition to the Life After Navy series, I'm also going to be doing more uh, Adobe tutorials as well because that's the software that I use for the majority of my videos. Now, I'm also going to be doing maybe a couple tutorials here and there of um, like peripheral software that I use. Like to record this video right now, I use a program called OBS, and it basically is just capturing video from my webcam. So I'd show you guys how to use it and stuff like that. And uh, but the main focus is going to be on uh, Adobe products that I use, like. Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition, and I'm just now learning how to use Adobe After Effects. Um, <laughs> might be a while before I start doing t tutorials on that, but uh, that may be something in the future that I'm looking into doing. But for now, you know, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition, how to do certain things, how to make your video sound good, maybe like a basic overall, like a Adobe Premiere for Dummies or Adobe Audition for Dummies kind of thing maybe in the future. But uh, if you guys want to learn how to do something with those programs, be sure to leave me a leave me a comment down below in the boopity boop and I'll do my best to answer and you know who knows, maybe your question will be the subject of a future tutorial video. But I do want to get those videos um, out on a more consistent basis. I uh, found that you guys really were receptive to those videos, so I want to do more in addition to the Life After Navy series stuff. And then in addition to all those two things, <laughs> all those two things, um, I also want to do like more vlogs when I can and uh, start up on the Roger Swan Remastered series again because again, like I said, uh, that was one of the series that kind of fell by the wayside when I went through that bad depressive episode last month and I really want to get started on that again. Now like I said in my previous update video the weekend wrestling podcast is on essentially permanent hiatus because um, the amount of time that I have to dedicate to that podcast is very high because there's just so much wrestling content on just from the WWE. I'm not talking about wrestling overall just in WWE that it just the amount of time I'd have to dedicate to it is too much for my schedule, being in school and all that kind of stuff. So as much as I liked doing it, it just doesn't seem very um, practical for me to do right now. So apologies, but uh, it just kind of is what it is. And uh, other forms of content that I want to do um, are like the Andy Cade series. I uh, really want to get back into doing Let's Plays again. Um, I don't think it's going to be a uh, consistent series. It's more going to be just kind of a an occasional series based on you know when I get games, when I'm able to do uh, capturing of the video game footage, stuff like that. So it's not going to be like a uh, consistent form of content. It's just going to be kind of an an every once in a while sort of thing. But I do want to make Life After Navy uh, Adobe tutorials. I want to make those a bit more consistently for my channel. So I'm really looking forward to making some videos come uh, 2017. I'm thinking that this is going to be a really good year for me. Uh, 2016 was kind of a kick in the balls for uh, for a lot of people, but I'm really, uh, I really have high hopes for 2017. And I hope you guys uh, will stick around with me 
uh, for the years to come. So, with that said, this is the Andy San signing up for now, thinking you guys poop for tuning into this video and for watching my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking with the thumbs, <laughs> commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.